Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this quick video, we're going to take a look at object components. Object components can add important features to your objects, like health, damage, wake up, and more. Before we continue, it's important to understand that there are two different states of objects. First, you have the object asset, which is over here in the left hand side. So this triangle, this enemy we have in our game, is the object asset. Now in the scene editor, we have multiple units of this object asset, which are copies of the asset, and we just call them units. We can add components to both the asset level and the unit level. But first, let's take a look at the asset level. So if I select the asset over here on the left, and then head to the options over here on the right hand side, you'll see we have many different options, including animation, sound, and then at the bottom, this add component button. If I click this button, you'll see a couple extra options you can add to the object assets, including advanced move, which lets you control an object through a button on your UI screen, damage, which lets you choose how much damage this asset will give if its unit is chosen to be an enemy, rotation mapper. This is a very advanced object asset component that allows you to assign an animation sequence to the rotation of an object. This is typically used to create realistic 3D effects in your game. For example, if you had an animation sequence showing a 3D cube rotating left and right with lighting, you could assign it to the rotation mapper. Then when the object rotates, BuildBox will display the animation as it's moving. And finally, we have the health option, which is already added to this particular asset. This is how much health it will have if you attempt to damage a unit chosen as an enemy. Now let's check out components on an object unit level. So I'll select one of the units here in the scene and if I click add component again, we currently have two options, but we do have plans to add more. Wake up allows you to make the object wake up and start moving after you reach a certain distance or collide with it. And the spawner component will spawn this unit over and over at a speed of your choice. Let's choose the wake up component to examine it closer. As you can see, when we choose a component, it's highlighted in yellow with its options below. We can always collapse and hide this component if we like by clicking these three dots and choosing collapse, and we could also delete the component by choosing delete. The collapse option can be very useful if you have multiple components open. With wake up, there are a couple important options. First off, we can see that this component is defaulted to disabled. Let's choose distance based instead from the dropdown. Now, any changes we make to this object, like adding speed to its linear and angular velocity, will only take effect when we get within zero pixels of this object's center. We could also enable this sleep function to make this object freeze again after it moves a specific number of pixels. So that's object components. And these are fairly advanced features in BuildBox, but once you understand them, they can open up a whole new world in your game. Thanks for watching.